everybody and welcome back to another Kittaloo adventure. So today I am going to be doing a little tutorial on the cave spider mob farm uh, and grinder. So the cave spider spawner is really a great way to get spider eyes and string that you can turn into wool. You can use string to make bows and fishing rods. There's a ton of uses for it as well as to get XP from it. So uh, it's a very simple XP farm that you can make from the cave spiders. And as you know, from time to time, you will run into a mine shaft in uh, Minecraft. And that is where you will find these cave spider spawners. So um, chances are you have already run into one of these, but I wanna show you today the best design that I have found for these cave spider spawners. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on uh, a little bit of armor because uh, from time to time these cave spiders might kind of jump at you and yeah, they will poison you, so I don't want that. Um, I am gonna grab a few supplies here as well. So I'm gonna grab a few blocks of redstone, some stairs, slabs, iron trap doors, hoppers, and chests. So I will show you the steps and what is needed, but very first thing, all we need to do is when you come across something like this in the game, chances are you'll see like a whole row of cobwebs um, and you can clear those out with your sword pretty easily. Uh, we can take those out and then obviously put the torches around uh, so that they're not going to be continuing to spawn and they still may spawn some, but the first thing that we want to do is basically build our room. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this as the center point of the room and we're going to count out four on each side. So one, two, three, four blocks on either side, behind and in front. So we're gonna have a basically a nine by nine room um, and we're gonna kind of make walls all the way up. So we're just gonna build a big square box here. So let me go ahead and get started on that. All right, and so from time to time, these guys are gonna spawn in here and how you can avoid doing that is you can put a torch over here in the corner. So. They tend to, once you're building out your room, uh, they tend to like to spawn in the corners as well. So as you start to enclose this room, um, I suggest just throwing a torch down and that will help with them uh, spawning on you. We'll box this in here and I'm going to put a torch back in case they try to spawn on me again. All right, so we will carry on. Okay guys, so as you can see, it is starting to take shape. So this is the center point of the room. We've got one, two, three, four blocks cleared out on either side, one, two, three, four. And then I am going to continue to build that room out here so that we have a uh, perfect square nine by nine room. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have now filled in uh, this room and built a nine by nine square with the spawner right in the middle. So basically the spawner and then four blocks on either side on every direction. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, and I, and I filled in the floor just so you can see how this looks at this stage. What we wanna do now, um, depending on how this spawns in for you, I usually like to clear out three blocks directly above this spawner. Now, since this kind of spawned near a ravine, it's already cleared way higher than that. Um, but I'm gonna make sure that there's a three block space all the way above this room, and I'm gonna clear out three blocks below it as well. So it's gonna be basically nine by nine um, all the way around, plus three above and three below, okay? So let's go ahead and do that next step now. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got the room now fully cleared out. So I left a couple blocks, so two blocks there, plus the torch is three blocks above, and then one, two, three blocks below the spawner, and then once again, four on either side all the way around, and we've got our square room complete. Now, believe it or not, this is actually the hardest part of this mob farm. So next steps is going to include some water. So go ahead and grab a couple water buckets and we'll uh, get this next step going. All right, guys, now that we had the room uh, all cleared out and we've got our buckets of water, what I would suggest doing is make an infinite water source somewhere. And what I typically do is just dig out uh, somewhere like this so that we can get a pool going and obviously one bucket of water on one side and one bucket on the other side. And now we've got access to water uh, that we can use to build the rest of this mob farm. Okay, so then we need to decide which way that you want the uh, kill chamber to be or which way you want the, the spiders to flow toward you. So 
for me, uh, this is going to be where I am going to want to create that. Um, so I want the spiders all to flow down to right here, and then I can kill them right in here. So I am going to go ahead and dig out a trench right here. Just like that. And then before we put down the water, it's typically a little easier to do this next part. Um, so right now, let's find the center, the three blocks in the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I'm going to take out those three blocks right there. And I'm going to grab my three blocks of redstone and one, two, three, just like that. Okay. And then next, I'm going to build a little hole over here that I can kind of escape out of so I can build the rest of this. So I want to get behind this, okay, because this is where the spiders are going to flow. So I'm going to clear out a couple blocks behind here just so I have some room to work. So I'll be back when that's done. So you can see we've got our room kind of cleared out. Now the next thing I want you to do is go down three blocks from these red redstone blocks. So there's one two, three, all right? And we need to clear our room out to this level. So three blocks below the redstone block is how much room we need back here. So this is what your room should look like at this point, okay? And the next thing that we want to do is we're going to go ahead and put some trap doors, some iron trap doors just below these redstone blocks. So let's knock these three blocks out and we will grab three iron trap doors and we are going to throw them on the underside of these redstone blocks, just like this, okay? All right, perfect. So now that our trap doors are set, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and knock these blocks out right here. And I'm going to knock these blocks out right here, okay? So two in right there. And this is not my design, but this is one of the really cool elements of this uh, XP farm right here is these enchantment tables. So you can see there's a small gap right here between the trap door and the enchantment table. It's a little smaller than a normal block. And that's the area that we're going to use to whack the spiders, okay? So that's very important for this build is to use these enchantment tables. And I know it's a little bit maybe more expensive uh, than some other ways, but for the, you know, how clean it is and how nice it works, um, definitely well worth it, all right? So at this point, let's go ahead and knock these bottom blocks out as well. And we're gonna knock these blocks out and then we're going to put our hoppers underneath pointing into our chest right here. So that's going to be a little bit tricky. So we'll have to um, go around the back side of this, but we can do this pretty easily. So I'm going to grab some chests and let's go ahead and throw those down right here. All right. And now all we have to do is go over here. We'll dig back behind this. And we'll throw our hoppers in, okay? So then we want to shift, crouch, hopper in there. Shift, crouch, hopper in there. And shift, crouch, hopper in there. All right? And then we will get back out of here. Let's fill in these gaps. Okay, perfect. So now we've got really our setup. So this is exactly what we wanted to see, and now we can add the water. Uh, but this is how it looks. So really a clean design, a lot cleaner design than some of the other ones that I've seen where you got to build kind of a gap in the corner and, you know, let the XP fall through. You're not going to have any trouble with the XP flowing through here. Um, you can whack right through this little gap, and you're not going to have to worry about getting poisoned by the cave spider. So this is really the cleanest, nicest, best cave spider uh, mob farm design that I have seen in Minecraft. 
All right, so let's go back out here and see how everything looks. And the last thing that I really like to do is to go ahead and make a little shelf here. So the spiders tend to climb up the walls and do some other crazy things, and I don't want them climbing away from me. I want the water to push them down into this hole where I can just uh, hit them down in there. So I am going to go ahead and build a little um, shelf for them so they won't be able to climb back out as easily. So I'm going to take some stone slabs and I'm going to put those on the top side of the same block with the redstone, even with the redstone. So I'm going to do that all the way across. And if you know, cave spider spawners are, or cave spiders are, um, are really, really small. They can fit through like a one gap, you know, or even this, this little space right here, this little half a gap block. So they can fit down through there. Um, and I don't want them crawling back out. So this is going to help kind of keep them from crawling back out. And then I am also going to put a row of stairs here. Now you don't really have to do this, um, but I think it looks, I think it looks nicer. And I also feel like the cave spiders that do spawn up on this wall, they kind of tend to, they kind of tend to fall down um, easier when I have these stairs placed like this. So I'm just going to put a row of stairs right across and I'll leave that little gap so I can get out. Yeah, so this is all set up right here. Perfect. If they spawn up here, they'll fall down, kind of won't be able to hold on to these steps and they'll get sucked right down in there where we can um, go ahead and take care of them. So let's go ahead and get our water flowing. So I'm going to put a bucket of water over here in this corner and I'm going to put another bucket of water over here in this corner. And as you can see, that will push perfectly right down into the middle, which is what we want. So let's go back over here, get some more water. And then now all we have to do is throw water into these corners. And then fill up the rest of these blocks. And you can take a block of water from the one next, so you don't have to keep refilling your bucket. Make sure those are all filled, which they are. Okay, so perfect. Now you can see what we've got. As they spawn, they're going to flow down here. They're going to go right in here, and they're going to get pushed right down to the center. And if we go in here and look, of course, this water will be gone when we're done. But they'll be perfectly uh, ready for us to hit right from there. So let's go ahead and get this last piece blocked up. I will cover this up. We will want to go ahead and get rid of all of our torches. Careful so we don't break the spawner. And they may start spawning in as you're doing this. Don't, don't freak out. Um, if you're wearing some decent armor, you should just be fine. Um, obviously we want to get out of here as soon as we can, um, but at the end of the day, you know, we'll be, we'll be all right. So at this point, I'm going to break this block so I can place a slab here and one last stair. And if you hang out here in the middle, you can usually avoid them. But I am going to make my way out of here now. And then I will cover this back up. Okay, so all that water will flow away. And as you can see, we've got a uh, mass of spiders here to uh, 
knocked down already. So what you got to do is aim right underneath the trap doors. It's a small window to hit them. And it can be a little bit frustrating if you are, um, you know, if, if they're bouncing around a little bit, but you just have to be patient and you have to aim right where my crosshair is. So directly under those trap doors, it is worth it guys to not get stung by those spiders. Okay. To not keep getting, um, n not keep getting poisoned. All right. So you will be able to hit them through here. And as you can see, they just continue to keep flowing to you. All right. So this is really the best cave spider spawner uh, that I have found. It's clean. It works really, really well. And um, yeah, best, uh, best one I have found to date. I will try to leave a link um, to the guy that did uh, this design. I changed it just a little bit, but for the most part, this was his design. So I will leave a link uh, in the description to his design. Um, but otherwise, you guys should be seeing uh, a bunch of string and a bunch of spider eyes and you'll be getting lots of XP like I am now. So you already see we've got 11 string uh, just in that short little bit of time, those few spiders that we've knocked, five spider eyes there and 12 string there. So yeah, we are doing really good. Uh, almost half a stack of string already and uh, they'll just keep spawning in here. All right guys, so that is the cave spider tutorial for Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more fun tutorials and adventure games with the Kittaloo crew. Um, but otherwise, we hope you found that helpful. This is really the best cave spider uh, mob farm that I have found, the, the best design to date for Minecraft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helps you out. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you use it, if you change anything, you find any improvements. Uh, but this is really the best one that I have seen today. I looked around um, and used part of a couple different designs to put this one together. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye!